you gadget feeds, get ready because you can now test drive and pre order the Apple Watch. Ooh. But before you head out and do it, we got to find out is it worth the hype? A select group of riders were able to test the de uh, test drive the device rather uh, for seven days, and their reviews are in. They are mostly positive, but with some very valid critical points. So first, let's get into it. The good news: it is convenient. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Fowler of the Wall Street Journal says that it made him feel more present, less likely to be reaching for or leaving his phone on the table during dinner. Lance Ulanoff of Mashable says that it is an excellent messaging device and that the voice recognition makes texting a lot easier. And Lauren Good of Recode says that the call quality was very good. Huh. Now, of course, the good comes with the bad. Uh, it is not for new techies, apparently. Farad Manju of the New York Times says that it is not suited for you tech novices out there. Joshua Toblowski of Bloomberg had to do quite a bit of tweaking and streamlining to the device to make his alerts and apps a little more manageable. And Neelay Patel of The Verge had a really good point, and I honestly think this is probably one of the best ones. Your friends might not think that checking your watch over and over is a good thing. Uh, and that that gesture, we got to keep in mind, it carries a lot of cultural weight. I mean, yep. you know, you've been in this situation. You're when doing are this. you going to stop talking? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I don't think that's something that a lot of people have really thought of yeah. until you actually slap the watch on. I mean, how many times do you check your phone? A lot. Which I so also think is kind of a rude gesture. Right, but this, yeah. this typically, if you and I are having a conversation and I'm doing I'd be this, like, Whoa, exactly, sorry. exactly, it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that you're blowing them off, mm -hmm. but uh, it's something you got to keep in mind. So yeah. anyway, the overall verdict is it's a great device, but it's not a necessary device. So if you just want to yeah. burn 350 bucks, uh, you're a gadget hound. You just have to have everything with an Apple uh, insignia on it. Mm -hmm. Go out and get it. You can pre-order it starting today. Try it on at the Apple Store in the ABQ Uptown. Oh. And it can be in your hand or you can head home with it on April 24th.